the sentence, the last sentence, two sentences from page eight. When a child falls down, it gets up, moves on. This means constant endeavor. We don't become lazy and use any excuse we can get for slipping from the pot. We recognize our dark sides and we pray to get rid of them. And all in very loving manner to ourselves. If we cannot love ourselves as spiritual persons in this world, then we can never love each other. What to speak of loving God? Ah, Kishori. There is one. Uh, audio settings. Audio settings. So, audio settings. Audio settings. And click original zoom. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Mercy giving, Jive Daya, starts at home. All relationships here in this world serve as a training exercises for the eternal relationships in the spiritual world. If we cannot love our partner in life, our parents, family, friends. How can we expect to love Sri Sri Radha and Krishna? We have to practice love in action, bhakti, here, now, every day. <clears throat> when we live like this in this loving consciousness balanced with ourselves we can make progress in our spiritual life So, I would like some comments. <coughs> it's it's okay. working. Okay. It's working. Yeah. So here I say Jibedaya. Recently, a Guru Dev is uh, showing us and uh, uh, sharing us 
is soul consciousness and、uh, swarpa consciousness and also in guna. So, especially Gurudev is saying, Gurudev's teaching is、uh, we have to balance. Balance means a mode of goodness. And mode of goodness, our mind becomes more or less peaceful. Then at that time, and、uh, we can a little bit go deep. And then we may attain spiritual consciousness. And Gurudev was saying, if we check others, then we have tendency to check some others, especially we are in, in the guna, especially mode of passionate and ignorance. So Gurudev is saying, if We check ourselves. If we have a tendency to check others, means we are in guna, especially mode of passion and ignorance. But if we check ourselves, then slowly, slowly we become soul consciousness. And what we check We are in spiritual consciousness or material consciousness. In other words, we are doing for my pleasure or for Radha Mohan's pleasure or for Guru Dev's pleasure. So our condition state, we have tendency, oh, this is my self. Oh, this is for Radha Mohan. So Guru Dev is saying <clears throat> every moment <laughs> and checking. And today, this morning, <clears throat> no, actually yesterday, Guru Dev is sharing a very interesting story. So everybody knows on Ekadashi days, Guru Dev took.、Uh, Prasada from Radha Gominda Das Baj Maharaj. So at that time, he was four months or six months, he was in trance. He l o s e bodily consciousness. So we are thinking, oh, Gurudev attain, at that time, Gurudev attention, a kind of perfection, kind of Baba stage. But Gurudev is saying, After that, to fix myself in Swarupa, at that time I am still Sanchari Baba. We are surprised here. And then we are asking, so how to fix yourself in Stai Baba in Manjari? So he is saying, Hearing, reading, especially hearing from Radha Rasa Sudanidi and Bira Paks Manjari. By this book, by Anandas Bawaji Maharaj. He, he could fix himself. After listening to this word, we are a little bit surprised. So, And so, little, maybe I, I may deviate. So, if we want to forgive others, or if we want to give mercy, at first we have to give mercy upon us, upon me, myself. Or myself also, we have to, I have to forgive. Because if 
we become angry with myself. That is in the mood of, in the mode of、uh, passion or ignorance. If we are in the mode of passion and、uh, ignorance, then we cannot give a jibedaya. So therefore,、uh, at first we also, ourselves also jiba. So we have to be kind to myself and then we can kind to others. Rade, rade. <laughs> So, Gora Chanadaji, whenever you feel inspiration, please, please、uh, give some, show, you know, some, some comments and sharing. You are always welcome. Thank you. Rade, Rade, Dana. Also, also, our Goran, Goran Sunda. And also, I don't, I can't, no, so, sorry, I cannot see everybody. So, everybody will come to share. I listened something interesting recently.、Mm-hmm. Scientists.、Uh, Psychology doctors, they found out the difference between happy people and unhappy people.、Mm. They said that the unhappy people, the depressed people, the negative people, 95% of their thoughts circling around themselves.、Mm. Mm. Why me? Nobody love me. <laughs> How I deserve that? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm too small. I'm too fat. Like this. And the mind, the voice in, your, in the head, almost 100% always talking in the negative way. And happy people, they don't. Think so much about themselves. They think more for others.、Yeah. They start forgetting themselves by focusing on what the others need to be happy.、Mm. Jai ho. So, this is science. This is what doctors they found in the studies. By talking to depressed people. And so then I was thinking, why Krishna s a y become my devotee? Think of me, serve me. <laughs> <laughs> forget yourself, forget your material nature, your condition. e d Behavior, your conditioned thinking. So now, Gurudev writing in this book, we should always check ourselves. We are doing for myself, or I'm doing for Radha Mohan. But I think that the state of mind by always checking yourself, it's also problematic. It's not being yourself, 
it's still on the level of thinking about yourself. It's not being yourself. So I can live in my thoughts, in my mind, and always checking myself. Ah, now I'm in passion. Now I'm tamaguna. Ah, now I'm this, now I'm that. But still, you acting on the level of thought, still living in the mind. So I think what Gurudev wants to tell is you have to be in that consciousness, not in thinking, more to be in the feelings, in the mood, in the flow, going out of the mind. And if you come out of that, then maybe it's good to remind yourself and check yourself. Ah, now I'm out. But we have to go again back to be myself, not to think always about myself. So constantly checking will also continue the negative, the negative <laughs> thinking about myself. So I found that very interesting. Very good point. Very good point. Because, because uh, Samadhi, what is Samadhi? Definition is we forget ourselves. If we are in Swarpa consciousness, if we are Swarpa consciousness in flow, we are forgetting I'm doing. And do I become seer? Guru Dev is saying, do I or seer or viewer? So Gora Chandra beautifully explained, if we are mind stage, it is still do I. So Manjari is not like this, just Manjari is seer. So what do Radha Mohan need? <coughs> and uh, that is a very beautiful poem, I, I feel. It's also very practical to become happy. <laughs> 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 that is proven in the studies. If we stop thinking about myself, which is 95% negative, <laughs> this anatta and ba ba ba. So if we start thinking about the happiness of others, is the way to become happy myself. It's real. It's real. It's not a duty. Ah, I have to serve others. It's not painful. Ah, I have to cut my ego and surrender and serve. It's, it's the way to become happy, joyful. Should be positive. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <coughs> Beautiful. During the Kirtan, we don't think it. <laughs> you are in Kirtan, oh, this Kirtan is, is right or wrong, you know, just we observe the Kirtan, you know, Nama, Nama Rasa, Nama Ruchi. <laughs> Someone else inspired to have some experience? Okay. Hmm. So we continue reading. <clears throat> hmm. When we live like this, in this loving consciousness, balanced within ourselves, 
we can progress in our spiritual life. Then we can experience Name Ruchi. Taste for the holy name of Krishna, which is the all in all of Bhakti Yoga. Without the holy name, nothing is possible. Taste for the holy name is the most valuable treasure in our life. With the help of the holy name, under the guidance of Sri Gurudev, we can easily progress through the stages of bhakti and reach the goal, prema, pure love. Then, the next principle, Vaishnava Seva, is an everyday thing. Radhe, Radhe. Yes, thank you, Radhe. Thank you. <coughs> thank you, my dears. Maybe we, I would like to to share something because the third level before third level Vaishnava Seva so we can see here <clears throat> how progressively Gurudev is speaking actually he is trying to establish the person in Sattva Guna first and it means in the mode of goodness because from the mode of goodness, person, sadaka, is self-aware. Mm. He is very awake person. Because only from the level of sattva, goodness, person can be properly balanced. Because these two modes of gunas, nature, Tamaguna and Rajaguna, doesn't allow awareness in the consciousness. They always make disturbance in the consciousness of the person. And Gurudev is trying from the first paragraph, which Andakaji read, to say that we should at least do our homework. So we have to be aware. We cannot make any excuses. So this is uh, self, uh, let's say, self honestly. And very nicely, Gora Chandra said, but we should be very careful. And why we should be very careful? Because we are not situating on the Sattva Guna. When someone is situated on Sattva Guna, he is naturally wakeful and careful, and he knows how to balance this negative side of his existence, like Gorachandra nicely explained, but he also knows how to do his homework. He because he is sincere in his desire to attain a goal and he knows i have to know my strong sides but also i have to know my negative sides 
And to properly deal with this, to make a balance, we have mercy, we need the mercy to be situated in this sattva gun. Because the sattva gun is not always stable, it will always come up and down, up and down, up and down with tamogun and rajagun. But still, we need, we need the mercy to be as much as possible fixed in this sattva guna level. For some persons, it's more easier because they have previous good karma and they are born in sattva guna. The more pro dominant guna in their life is sattva guna. And for some persons, it can be a little bit harder because their karma is overburdened with uh, overloading with lower modes of nature. And for that, while I'm speaking this, we also need so much mercy, even on that level, to try to fix ourselves on sattva guna, because from the sattva guna, we can properly understand our spiritual self. Someone who is deeply enrooted in tamagun or in rajaguna, he cannot properly hear that he is not the body, but the soul. He always forget it, he cannot accept it, and he cannot practice in his daily life. Daily life. So we desperately need to be balanced. And Guru did so much, as I understood from my personal examples, he is stressing to me, also you have to be balanced, more balanced and more balanced. Because from this balanced state of consciousness, you can start to meditate properly on your Swarup, on your real self. From the spiritual point of feelings, not like Gorachandra said, from the mind level. Because these spiritual emotions, they also have to have some roots for the sadaka in daily life experience. And Gurudev is saying, if we cannot love our partner in life, our parents, family, friends, etc., etc., we will never experience the love. So at least we should start from some most easiest thing, to love someone, to experience what is the love. Because when Acharyas are speaking about the love, then we will understand at least a little bit what is the love. Because we will have some experience. But to balance this love and not to stay on this bodily consciousness of life, but rather to think about others like a souls and first of all think about myself like a soul, we need this proper consciousness which is situated in mode of goodness. Then the practice of love in action, practice of love in action here and now can start every day and practice every day. Here and now. So this balance life is means it's not that I'm balancing my material things only. Balance, as I understood Gurudev, is to balance between material and spiritual 
not excluded each other. Mm. Because Gurudev is saying, if we focus on material life, we will not give our heart, endeavor, mind, intelligence, desires on in the spiritual goal. Because we are not so mature in that. And also, if we put all our endeavors in spiritual life, sadhana, austerities, uh, vows, uh, different kinds of strict uh, vaidi principle, rituals, and so on, we will neglect materialistic kind of life. And we are not enough mature to do this. So Gurudev is giving practical example for us to be aware of these things because this is our job, our homework. And at the same time, to nourish the spiritual consciousness, I am the soul, first of all. And what's going on with the body actually doesn't have anything with the soul. And at the same time, I am the spiritual identity. I am this identity. Not that I have spiritual identity. I am this identity. So this balance, uh, to properly understand the balance is required Sattva Gun. And Rek Jainandaji said, <laughs> it requires the time also. And help. And acceptance of that help. I remember a few years ago, I was present when one guest came in front of Gurudev and said, oh, you are sadhu, you know the mind and hearts of everyone, please tell me what is my problem. <laughs> and Gurudev answered him, if you don't know what is your problem, then you really have a problem. <laughs> So, for me, it was a very good lesson, lecture. <laughs> and only someone who is rel relatively peaceful in the mind, relatively, without um, so much influence of false ego, can properly understand his problem, deal with his problem and beg for the help to solve this problem. So it means dependence of disciple to guru, but also he is not doing my job, my homework. Otherwise he will serve me. <laughs> so all these things are actually coming, mixing together, they are coming in interaction and we need a time and proper association that we can share this and we can practice because these words are just words if we are not put in our daily life. And this daily life is our sadhana, a real sadhana. And in the job, in the bus, in the taxi, with family, with problems in the life, with happiness in the life. Always keep the balance. Who you really are, because in that way you can help yourself, your jiva. And then you will receive the strength to help the others. But first yourself. Sorry, I took a little bit more time. I like these words of Gurudev so much, and yours also. I'm sorry if I disturb you. Very beautiful, very nicely explained. Thank you very much. <laughs> mm.
We continue reading. Then, the next principle. Vaishnava Seva is an everyday thing. We love to be with Vaishnavas. We love to serve them. We love to learn from them. Without the association of Vaishnavas, our life is meaningless and doomed, like cursed. So I have a question to <laughs> all. <laughs> so the question arises. Who is <laughs> so they may good they may ask question. So Vaishnava Seba, oh that's great. Everybody at least theoretically knows. The question may arise. Who is Vaishnava? So I I I need your mercy to to get answer. Sometimes Gurudev also asking us who is Vaishnava. And could you help you, you know, who is Vaishnava? Wow. Who is the Vaishnava? He is the Vaishnava, he's a gentleman. <laughs> okay, okay, another Krishna Ji. He is a gentleman. He's poor. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Just, yes, just please, yes. please, please. You, you can sit here also. Please come. Please come. No, no. I can see you. No, because it's a very nice question. Who is the Vaishnava? The Vaishnava is devotee of the Lord Vishnu. Of course, he has to be gentleman, lovely, friendly, all the best qualities Lord Vishnu has. <laughs> Easy, no? Yes, yes, that's a gentleman. <laughs> gentleman, ladies, all characteristics that make other people say, wow, it's a Vaishnava. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jai Ho. That's right. I enjoy very much. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. You, you, under the view, you, 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 spiritual teachers that touched my heart a lot is Bhaktivinod Thakur. Mm. And uh, he made my life much easier, <laughs> much more simple, less complicated. Mm. Like this question, who is Vaishnava? Mm. Yeah. So Krishna says about every soul that every soul is amazing. Mm. Why would he say so if it's not true? <laughs> yeah. So I think. Um, Vaishnava in my heart Vaishnava is a person about whom I think he is a Vaishnava yes. 
<laughs> so, if I think of someone, he or she is a Vaishnava, then in my heart, this person is a Vaishnava. It may seem very strange. <laughs> <laughs> But in this one song, Bhakti Vinod Thakur said, mm. My dear Lord, mm -hmm. from today on, my members of my family are not, not longer members of my family. They are your servants. From now on, this is not my house. It's your house. Wow. So from now on, I live in your house. And uh, I take care of your servants. Mm. Wow. Done. Wow. <laughs> How long it takes for someone to become devotee? Partial of, part of second. Just my decision. You are devotee. And you are a devotee. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow, beautiful. Huh? Yeah. Mm. Beauty is in the eyes of the observer. It's not in you. It may be in you. But if I find you beautiful, you may be as ugly as hell. <laughs> you are beautiful to me. Wow. So, then. This is a version. Wow. <laughs> it's another uh, infinite point. Can I share something? Sure, sure. Please, please, please. Just, uh, I just wanted to share because just yesterday, Gurudev, uh, uh, in his room, we were sitting and then all of a sudden, Gurudev said, this is a Vaishnava. <laughs> <coughs> Out of the blue, he he answered that very question what you just asked. <laughs> he said, "A Vaishnava is someone who feels the pain of others. Anyone who feels the pain of others, and by feeling that pain, immediately feels compassion right. for that soul." That was Gurudev's definition. Yesterday's definition of uh, of a Vaishnava. Wow. 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 Thank you for the mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish to hear also Gora Chandra and also Goranga Sandaraji also. What do you feel about the Vaishnava? Who is the Vaishnava? So Gora Chandraji, could you share? <laughs> yeah, Jai Ho Gopika Didi. I also remember Guru Dev sharing that. Who can feel the pain of others as a Vaishnava? And I remember also one quote from Gora Govinda Maharaj. He said, everyone is Vaishnava, except me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but that is expression of a mood, humble mood. That is little theoretically for us. Of course, Every soul is a servant of God. The function of the soul is to serve God. So, in that sense, every jiva is a Vaishnava, devotee of Vishnu, God. So, but in the practice, practical sense for us, 
I think Vaishnava has a little different level. So when we speak about Vaishnavas, then we always yearning and longing for real high class association that can help us. Theoretically, everyone is a Vaishnava. The ant in my garden and my neighbors and my boss in the office, everyone is theoretically a Vaishnava. But does that help me practically in my life to receive the mercy? That is the question. So, to receive the mercy, I think we need high class association. And in that sense, real Vaishnava is a self realized soul. more advanced devotees than me, they can teach me something. I can learn from them something. I can improve myself. I would say that we should more focus on the practical <laughs> Vaishnava for us, not on the philosophical or theoretical meaning. So... Without serving great souls, our life is meaningless. Mm. Mm. From them, from them, maybe we get the mercy mm. and get the mood mm. that we start seeing everyone else also as a Vaishnava. First to serve the great souls. And then start serving my neighbor who hates me every day. <laughs> you know, we have to start with the high class and then we can learn, improve, and see everyone else also and serve them. Yes. Thank you, beautiful, beautiful. Also, Goranga Sundaraji, please share us. But who is Vaishnava? I will try because all of you said so beautifully, and when we put together all what you were said, it's really Vaishnava, person who possess all these qualities which were you were talking. But uh, there is one basic thing, what is a Vaishnava, and other things are symptoms of Vaishnava. Symptom is that he is humble. Symptom of Vaishnava is that uh, he is compassion. Symptom of Vaishnava that he has, like Prabhu said in, uh, in the cave, uh, that he has all good and perfect qualities. This is the symptoms. But who is really Vaishnava? Someone who gave the mercy to his soul. Jiva Dai. He became, in that way, he became merciful to himself, compassionate to himself, because he is living in his spiritual identity he's by his own then from that identity all qualities are spreading around him and inside of him and automatically he is seeing like anandakaji uh, said in everyone seeing that he is vaishnava because only Vaishnava can see others like Vaishnavas, no one else. It's not possible in artificial way, from bodily concept of life, from any gunas. Someone who really is self-realized, it means that 
he has his own spiritual identity and why he is Vaishnava? Because he has relationship with his Ishtadev. Mm. If someone has a good qualities, but he doesn't know who, which Ishtadev is his beloved, we cannot say that he is the Vaishnava on one level. But someone, because we need association of all Vaishnavas, but we need association to be infused with pure Vaishnavas. With pure Vaishnavas. And Gurudev is saying here what An An Andakaji said, we love to be with Vaishnavas. We love to listen Vaishnavas. We love, if we don't love Vaishnavas, we cannot advance in our spiritual life. We should love Prabhupada. We should love Bhaktivinoda Thakur. We should love and be in love with Ananta Das Babaji and be in love with our Gurudev. So their qualities and their realization will be infused and transferred in the existence of sadhaka. We cannot be artificially humble. We cannot be. And this is real position of conditioned soul. But, like Gorachandra said, only uh, uh, only thing which is valuable in our life is close association with Vaishnavas, pure premika devotees and Vaishnavas. Also other Vaishnavas. But the goal is to be close with them because they will show us the ultimate goal. And this is Prema Mandir. Prema, temple of love. Wow. Prema Mandir. And what is the Prema Mandir? And who is the Prema Mandir? Is Radhika. <laughs> <laughs> this is the temple of love for everyone. And from this love, Vaishnava qualities will start to appear in the association of those who are already established like a servants in this temple of love, in this Prema Mandir. Wow. So only Vaishnava can recognize the Vaishnava. Only Premika de devotee can recognize the Premika devotee. And at the same time, he is so humble, because this is the quality of Vaishnava, that he sees, like Andakaji said, in everyone, He's Vaishnava, he's Vaishnava. This thief, this killer, everyone is Vaishnava. But it's not that he is. He is looking at everyone that he is Vaishnava because he himself is Vaishnava. Yeah. yeah. So it, it is the proof that Jiva Daya has to start from our own soul. Wow. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Dharma Kshetre Kurukshetre. Real Dharma. Real Dharma is Jaiva Dharma. Jiva Dharma. <laughs> and this is Jiva Daya. Otherwise, it's Kurukshetra. <laughs> it's complicated materialistic life. <laughs> it's Kurukshetra. It's not my words. Sorry. Don't think that, it, that this is my words. I repeated the Gurudev's words a long time I heard. Dharma Kshetra Kuru Kshetra is the first words of Bhagavad Gita. And it means Jaiva Dharma. Jaiva Dharma Kshetra. This is the Kshetra. This is the field. Otherwise, if we are not established in this field, then it's Kuru Kshetra in all life. Brother Adi. 
I said something. Wow. Very beautiful, everybody. So, so beautiful. Explain. So, I want to share a little bit another, another aspect. Or oh, maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe repeat. <coughs> so, what recently Gurudev said, you know, there is a kind of Kanishta Adhikari, Matyama Adhikari, Uttama Adhikari. So, Uddama Dikari see soul. Therefore, he could see everybody's Vaishnava. And Madhyama Dikari is discriminate for kind of person who is innocent, who is enemy, who is a kind of a demon, or, you know, who is kind of a devotee or whoever. So, that Madhyama Dikari see the guna. So Madhyama Rikari is in Guna and see according to that Guna. So, and uh, sometimes we are thinking, oh, this is the highest Vaishnava, this is lowest, this is high, this devotee is high, this is low. And uh, we are reading uh, Narottama Das Tiger's Prem Bhakti Chandrika. Of course, you know, Gurudev is a very high class, you know, some, some, some Baba is high class, that is, you know, sure. But uh, Krishna's Kabiraj Goswami and, and, and uh, Narottama Daskar, it seems uh, we should not discriminate. Someone is high, someone is low. Because uh, we are still, you know, very <laughs> conditioned states. We made, we made mistakes. Because especially here in Vrindava, we never know. This Guru Dev say, you know, some Rikshawara, maybe very elevated person. Or maybe someone is like, like you know, working like uh, ordinary, like a, uh, you know, job. But still very elevated. Guru Dev saying here, one devotee who is doing, you know, kind of, you know, carpenter job, actually, he's the highest state of <coughs> advancement. So, and uh, good, so Gopika Didi explained very nicely, this is a kind of, you know, very high stage of Vaishnava. But uh, I'm seeing Gurudev's behavior. So whoever come to the temple, or whoever come to Near his attitude is serving for serving to everybody. Today also, you know, some guests are coming. Some is a friend. Some is you know. Some is you know. I don't know. Some person, but the guru Dev is serving prasada. Guru Dev is serving you know consulting. Some you know giving kind words. So and then. Guru Dev's position is like a kind of Uttama Dikari. He, he wants to serve for everybody, every living entity, according to the, the, the situation. So in this case, Vaishnava Seva, is, we could understand different way. So we could say, oh, Guru Dev wants to say? Or oh, somebody wants to say? So, especially here, Vrindavan, so we, I think, you know, we, I should think every, everybody is Vaishnava, especially here in Buraja. So, therefore, we would like to serve everybody because especially, you know, here Dharma, Whoever stay in Dharma, whoever leaves the Dharma is not the ordinary person. So, and uh, that's uh, our, our Guru Dev's attitude, he wants to serve everybody. But according to that person, Guru Dev is serving accordingly. So, this is uh, good. I'm seeing Guru Dev's you know, beautiful qualities to serve everybody according to, you know, according to the person or according to our, our capacity. So 
this is so this is you know it's not one one answer but uh, just i i gave some comment what good david was and the good david behavior what i'm seeing just to, i want to share that uh, Rade. Rade. I just noticed, uh, Jana, that you, what you were talking, I just noticed in this page, actually, this progression, when Guru Dev is saying first Jaiva, Jiva, uh, Daya, mm. then Holy Name. Mm. He's putting us from the Satvagun on transcendental platform and then holy name to help us to establish ourselves through the holy name, which can help us mm. on transcendental level. Why? Because we should chant transcendent <laughs> holy name, transcendental name from the spiritual identity. Mm. Then, in that way, we are coming on the third stage to love Vaishnavas. Mm. So I can see here the progression of his teaching us. You have to be careful, you have to be watchful, do your homework. In that way, you will balance your life between materialistic and spiritual life. Then your approach to the chanting of the dikshas, mantras, and especially holy name, to become really holy name in your heart, you have to chant from spiritual identity, not from sattva guna only. Then automatically love for wow. those who are already on that <laughs> level will appear. Mm. Oh, Guru Dev, please help us. I hear you now. I'm Rade, Rade. Please share. Rade, Rade. So nice, yeah. I'm so excited to listen. I don't know meaning that time. You are explaining so beautifully. Deep meanings. I'm so feel happy. This is Vaishnava. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 So, thank you everyone. We continue reading. Ah, I would like to ask Govardhan from uh, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> rade, Rade, Govardhan. Rade, Rade. Oh, okay, he's off. Oh. Radhe Radhe. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. Konbanwa Radhe Radhe. <laughs> Konbanwa. Kinki de shouka, mina san. Hi. Radhe Radhe. Is this fun? Domo, ish yuri desu. Gordon, do you have... Hi. Do you have something on your mind? Would you like to share a few sentences with us? 
私の中に起こったことですか、えー、そうですね。What I feel? Can I share? Please. お話ですかいや、あのー、そうですね。What to say? この間の、ゴーラ・チャンドラさんにも、その、ちょっと質問したことがあったんですけど。Last time I asked ゴーラ・チャンドラ・プラブ・オールソ。えー、先ほど、ゴーラちゃんのさんがおっしゃったですね、えー、すべての人がバーシナバであると。Just now, ゴーラちゃんのプラブ says, everyone is バーシナバ。えー、で、私以外はと。Expect, except us, except me. という言葉がありますね。で、それについてちょっと伺ったんですけど、まあですね、ちょっとひたすら自分にはちょっとレベルがちょっと高すぎると思います、ね。<笑> Actually, I feel it's very high level for me. えー、それでまあ、非常にシンプルな言葉なんですが、えー、まあ、自分はですね、普段の生活を見,見ますと、やっぱりまあほとんどの場合、他人をそのジャッジすることにも大半使われてるんですね。So, actually, in simple words, I would like to say, my time is always using almost all the time To judge others. それでまあそういう言葉を聞いてもですねその自分すべての人がバーシナバーである自分以外はという言葉を聞いてもですね非常にまあ縁遠いとはる、まあ、か彼方の言葉のように思われるわけです。That's why if I heard these words For me, it's very far, far, far away from me. いえ、それで、まあ、どっから手をつけていいかわからないという。That's why,、まあ、that's why I don't know which point I have to start. まあ、でも、とにかく、まあ、聖なる皆は唱えているんですけども、まあ、非常に道は遠いなと思いますね。はい。以上です。That's why, anyway, I try to keep chant holy name, but actually, I feel it's very far from me. That's it, r a d e r a d e Very honest.、Yeah. Thank you, God. Sunglass and that color is red. 
Everything you will see the pink is a red color. That color. Only change the glass. Take other green glass and that. The vision has to change. So we have to change only our glass. So maybe I want to share a little bit too. in my case. So I also feel completely very far from very highest stage, like a Guru Dev stage. Then what I do, I just go to near, near, go to Guru Dev's place and try to listen his word and try to digest his word. And I may not understand from beginning, but uh, every time we hear continuously, then slowly, slowly it's kind of digest. And also, we also become like, uh, you know, spiritualized, the kind of Guru Dev rights. Guru Dev's mood kind of infuse us. Now, now also another example. My Muridanga is very, very bad. Many people know. So, and then I start to desire to, to, you know, play Muridanga now. And then what I'm doing, I just go to see, go to near to uh, Sachinandanaji and just seeing and just hearing from him what I'm doing and also just watching and try to follow him. From first day, I cannot follow anything, you know, very little bit. And then second day, I little bit, I could follow little bit. And third day, fourth day, slowly, slowly, if you hear his, his, his sound, and if come to near from Sachinandanaji, then his vibration, his feeling also slowly, slowly, you know, I may catch him. So Guru Dev is saying just changing grass means go to near to sadhu. I think that is the best way. So this international sadhu sangha also this one way. Also, if it is possible, come to Brindaban and associate with other devotees, especially Guru Dev. So even though slowly, 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 we are changing. I, myself, I cannot accept, you know, I want, but I cannot change immediately, honestly speaking. So it takes time. I, I accept. So maybe day by day, try to change a little bit. That is also the way for, for us. Someone who has a very nice sanskara, just hearing one time from Guru Dev, then, you know, digest, can follow immediately. But at least my case, Guru Dev knows, you know, I'm so stupid. Many times here, sometimes I could not follow. But uh, my desire to follow. So every day is challenging a kind of practicing, like uh, Goranga Sundaraji and also Gora Chandra also say, we are practicing. This is sadhana bhakti. That is my humble, you know, feeling. Rade, rade. I just want to say, Radhe Radhe, 
what Gurudev gave a hint to us and of course to me because I'm trying to listen his words which are directed to me <clears throat> and how to improve myself not like a general instruction but instruction to me so Gurudev said if disciple wants Gurudev Guru can help him so we are coming in the point actually of greed again if we really want something then help will be very functional if we have doubts if we have hesitation 10 percent 20 percent i want but 80 percent i don't want then help doesn't work so effectively so greed to overcome this problem or any problem has to appear in the heart and consciousness of disciple and Govardhan Prabhu from Japan he very honestly sincerely said what is my problem I notice my problem and this is the beginning and he honestly said from where to start he already started actually because someone who is humble, who is honest with his awareness will come to this stage and say, this is my problem and I cannot solve it myself. I need the help. <coughs> and this I need the help is the sign of greediness. Mm. And the more disciple needs a help, desperately needs, he shows the more greedy, he, he's showing more sincerity. I'm not example of that. But I'm trying, I'm not speaking at all from this angle. I'm trying to understand what Gurudev is giving to me like instructions. And it's not easy. And I need my own homework. And Govardhan Prabhu, he did it. His, because you cannot, in one second, you cannot come from nothing to such kind of expression. You need to pass through this progression of consciousness. So this is why the process is slowly but surely has to go from step to step and I like so much when he is saying this because as Gurudev said and Jainadaj repeated glasses what does why we are so conditioned because we have wrong glasses and we don't have desire to change the glasses And influence of asatsanga, wrong association, this material world is so strong that only sadhu sangha can help in that. Why I'm criticizing with my tongue, with my mind, with my mouth, everyone, because like Gopika said very nicely, because this is mentality of this world. Manovrit. My Manovrit is in criticizing mentality. And why? Because I <laughs> took so much association on this kind of society. And not only in this life. Not only in this life. <laughs> and this is the strong influence of Asat Sangha. So we need desperately, we need the help of Sadhu Sangha. To love Sadhu, because he can help us to come in our real normal position. 
Otherwise, we will always be tops and turvy, up and down, in abnormal position. And it's, it's not naive thing. A satsanga is so deeply rooted in my heart. I am made from asatsanga. I cannot go out from that. I cannot meditate on Swarup, which Radhika and my Guru Dev gave me, because I have mentality which from asatsanga. They keep me in my bodily consciousness. And like Guru Dev very lightly and nicely and kindly said, just change your glasses. But I don't want. And that's the key point. <laughs> I don't accept this instruction. I refuse this instruction. And he has so many years to convince me, to convince me, to convince me, and again, and again, and again, to forcefully. For, and I'm resisting. No. To love few devotees Auto automatically will bring love to everyone. But to love the pure devotees, if we don't love ourselves, our jiva, which is pure devotee, mm. I don't believe in that. Radhe, Radhe, I share something. Beautiful, very nice. Oh, it's a... I want to share something more also. Wow. One time I was sitting with Gurudev <coughs> and there was a devotee who was leaving from Vrindavan and he asked Gurudev for like final instruction. Gurudev, what I should do? Do you have instruction for me? Gurudev say, no, no, just do your service, just continue. But devotee was not very satisfied with that. He insisted. <laughs> Gurudev, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> What is my problem? <laughs> Guru is saying, you, you don't have a big problem. Just continue. Just do your service, do your bhajan, and be peaceful. So, I think we also need to be little patient, patient, and we need faith in the process. Gurudev always explain, and now I remember what Govardhan was talking, what, what is where I can start, what is the beginning. So I remember Gurudev words in different way a little. He say foundation is our faith. From there we have to start. <laughs> we have to believe in the power of the holy name. We have we should trust that change will come to us. So, when we have a strong faith in the process and the power of the name and the power of the mantra that Gurudev gave us, in the power of the association, in the power of prasada, then we always will feel hope also. And maybe sometimes we feel hopeless. 
Oh, I will never change. Uh, still, I'm doing this and that and this. So then you have to go back and check your faith. Is your faith strong? Do you believe that change is possible? So I think foundation is faith and trust in the power of the process. Trust in the mercy that Mahaprabhu came to give to everything. That he came to give unconditional love. That he accept everyone. Radharani accept everyone. So if you don't know <laughs> where to start, then start with your faith. And do your... Take your medicine every day. <laughs> and then... We are in a process. Wait and watch. Gurudev always say also. It will change. In five years you will look back and you will see that something has changed. Yeah. Rade, Rade. Thank you. Beautiful. So, Jive Daya, love to ourselves, love to all beings. And love to the divine couple. Then Nameruchi. Great taste for the holy name awakens. So sorry, okay, sorry. Ah, Gorangaji, would you like to uh, say something? Uh, no, I, I just want, uh -huh. I, I was counting actually. Uh -huh. <laughs> when you were reading, you first say Jiva Daya. I was counting. Mm. This is the first play <laughs> Jiva Daya. Then <laughs> Jiva, love to ourselves. This is the first. Second is, then we can love all beings. Mm -hmm. If I don't see myself like a soul, how I will see in others the soul? Mm -hmm. And what to speak about Paramatma and what to speak about Radha and Krishna. Mm -hmm. So first thing is, love to ourselves. This is Jiva Daya. And automatically for this Jiva Daya will come other Jiva Dayas. Love to others, all, all beings. And then third is love to divine couple. I was counting. This is the wow. third <coughs> level. <laughs> then coming Namaruchi. Mm. Because how I will chant Nama with Ruchi if I don't my, like myself, if I don't like others, and if I don't like my beloved Ishtadev in the hearts of everyone. This is the logic. <laughs> <laughs> there is no possible to chant pure uh, Shuddha Nama without this first condition. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, repeat. <laughs> Please, oh, this is my... By God, how <laughs> you know what I'm telling for? <laughs> Please repeat it. I don't know anything. I cannot repeat, Gurudev. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
for oneness. Sorry, this is the meaning. Please repeat it. Again, so, uh, Ananda Kaji read very, very slowly and nicely, Gurudev. And he said, Jiva Daya, love to our self, to all beings, and to divine couple. The beginning stage to love divine couple is Jiva Daya to love ourselves. This is the basic and most important thing. This is not Dharma. This is Jaiva Dharma. Eternal religion. So, I have to love myself, my soul. Then I can love others. Mm. If I don't know my soul, if I don't love my soul, how I will love other souls. <clears throat> it's not possible. And then, in other souls, I will see also divine couple. I can love divine couple because it's present in other souls and it's also present in my souls and i see divine couple in other souls because they are in my soul so this is the first this is complete explanation of jiva daya first love yourself then it will come love to others, and then it will come Yugalak, love to Yugala Kishore or your beloved Ishtadev. Then is a second level, Nama Ruchi. Ruchi, it means taste, but which kind of taste? From the soul. And we can chant Nama Ruchi only if we love our souls, if we love other souls, and if we love <laughs> divine couple, Radhe. Otherwise, it's not possible. On what Ruchi? Ruchi from my body? Ruchi for other bodies? This is not Nama Ruchi. And then from that is coming Vaishnava Seva. From Jiva Daya, loving our soul and other souls, then the name, sweet name of our beloved Ishtadev, and then love for everyone, especially. Especially, different kinds of love, especially for those who are real, pure, pure Vaishnavas. And complete dependence on them. Dependence and surrendering is not possible without Jiva Daya, Nama Ruchi. I don't know what I am talking about. <laughs> Dependence. What Arjuna was? <laughs> he was surrendering to Krishna because he loved him. He was his friend. He had a relationship. And Krishna helped him like a guru to love also himself. You are not this body. my dear friend. And Arjuna accepted that. I am spiritual soul. <clears throat> with loving relationship with you. So Arjuna was always thinking on Krishna. And what does it mean thinking? Always chanting his name. 
during the Kurukshetra. In the heart, his heart was trembling with the Krishna's name, vibrating. And in the same time, he was very, very humble. And took the position of servant. And then he could serve all Vaishnavas, even the enemies. Radhe, Radhe, please, I don't know. So, I want, to, I want to share a little bit. One thing said very nice about Bhakti Vinod He gave one example of him. Can you repeat, Andhagaji? Ah, yes, Gurudev. So, uh, yeah, Bhakti Vinod Thakur said, from this moment on, this house is your house, my Lord. My family members are not anymore my just my family members they are they are your servants mm -hmm. wow. so from now on i live in your house and i take care of your servants mm -hmm. 